Hey guys, this web view is about, you guessed it, a bridge. In particular, this is a Throg's Neck bridge connecting Bronx County and Queens County, specifically Throg's Neck and Bay Terrace in New Eastern New York City in the boroughs of Bronx and Queens. Now I'll tell you why I'm doing a project on this bridge by zooming out. Yes, you can see my other lines, ignore that for now, but this bridge is the easternmost crossing over the Long Island Sound, connecting the mainland with Long Island. Long Island is an island east of New York City that holds suburban and urban enclaves totaling more than 8 million people, and it is still growing. Urban sprawl stretches more than 60 to 70 miles east of Manhattan. Now, all these people do have relatively easy access to New York City. However, to the mainland, for example, New England, Bronx County, Westchester County, and upstate New York, all the people east of Eastern Queens County, Nassau County, and Suffolk County have to use the six-lane Throg's Neck Bridge to get there. This is one big explanation of why this bridge is among the most choked, not only in the greater New York metropolitan area, but also in the Northeast and America as a whole. Six lanes carrying what is estimated to be 225,000 cars a day is a lot. Now, what I'm proposing here is a second span. I was looking at many different alternatives that I could do to increase the capacity of such a bridge. The first option was to utilize a lower deck or the Throg's Nest Bridge, similar to what I did in the Verrazano Bridge and what they used in the George Washington Bridge. I believe the Verrazano Bridge has 12 lanes, 6 above, 6 below. George Washington, 14 lanes, 8 above, 6 below. It looks like this bridge can support a lower deck. However, it has been proven through engineering studies that the current bridge is already relatively weak and it will have to go some rehabilitation to maintain its existing capacity of five to six lanes. Also, a lower deck may exist, but the concrete abutments do not provide for any access for a possible lower deck in the future. It was not future-proofed into the design. Therefore, the only option I could do was build a second span. I couldn't do it on the nearby White Stone Bridge as that is not that doesn't even have girders below the bridge and both are highly used. So I couldn't do anything with this as well, like making a big roundabout system here. So I had to make a second span. So my plan is is that the existing span will become the new southbound side of the bridge. It will retain its designation as Interstate 295 and it will go down from six lanes, both directions combined, to five lanes and one shoulder. In this case, a shoulder is necessary. Despite what I did in Philadelphia with my rush hour center lane and shoulder lane video with the changing lanes, this doesn't really have a particular rush hour direction, so that wouldn't really be applicable here. It's all the lanes in general are crowded. It connects the periphery of the metropolitan area, but there are a lot of jobs in the periphery of the New York metropolitan area. So that's why it is very crowded. And you guessed it, the other span is also going to be five lanes and a shoulder. Now I'm going to tell you what all these interesting rainbow of colors mean. Red means destroyed. Basically red is any any piece of road that exists that won't exist after such a proposal is constructed. White is standard elevated sections, whether it's on land or water. It is supported by standard pillars, not by suspension or other means. Next, we get to the, perhaps the first time we have ever seen purple in a web view. Yes, believe it or not, web view has not gone through all the cl colors of the rainbow and purple or violet if you're picky about it is one of them 
that represents where the actual suspended portion will be. This bridge has better look nice. Obviously, there are a lot of ships that go through the Long Island Sound every day, and a suspension bridge is the only way to allow easy access for that. So I'm building a second span next to where the existing span is. Next, you get to this yellow section here. And you'll be wondering, what's that? Now, this right here is known as a Sunny Maritime College. It is a university in Bronx County. And if you were trying to build a bridge here, it wouldn't work because you're going over buildings. So I'm not doing a suspension. I'm actually going to do a cantilever above this. The existing road has standard pillars, but the university has developed quite a bit since the 1960s when this bridge was initially built. So I'm going to build a cantilever section above the eastern portion just west of Wadham Street. And that will allow free access of both people and just free up the campus of any pillars. The bridge will still float above it, but it'll actually look more interesting. Two bridges rather than one. It's almost like a bridge in the sky. It won't affect the landscape of the campus in any way. After that, it goes back to standard pillar sections and it meets the existing toll plaza. Now you guessed it, I'm going to make this toll plaza fully electronic. Much of the traffic is just due to the small capacity of the bridge, but the rest of the traffic is due to the inability of this toll plaza to handle all the traffic. Even easy pass cannot keep up with the added traffic during the day of such a proposal, not to mention the existing traffic. So I'm going to make it electronic tolls. You have seen, if you have seen my video on Interstate 90 in Massachusetts, you know what I'm talking about. It's a very quick, easy method to allow seamless transport and paying of tolls. Tolls will remain the same at $12. Now it's nice because this is anyways 10 lanes here, so it's 5 lanes this way, 5 lanes that way. So, it will easily transition to 10 lanes on the dual spans, 5 going south, 5 going north. Just west, 4 lanes go this way and 6 lanes go that way. 695 goes this way, 295 goes that way. This connects with 95 going to New England. This connects with 95, all, in this case, the Cross Bronx Expressway. It'll connect in northern New Jersey and inland northeast, for example, right here. So this bridge is of utmost importance towards the people of Long Island because this is the best way they can connect to the mainland USA. Now I know Long Island is all about being separated from the rest of the world, but you still need to be connected to it. And the only way to do that is by bridges. Now it's too early to build a new span further east, so I decided to just widen the Throgdex Bridge. The approach roads are wide enough, 10 lanes here, and the Cross Island Parkway is 6 lanes and Interstate 295 is 6 lanes. This could also free up traffic on 495. In some days, the bridge traffic stretches all the way back on the Long Island Expressway, so that'll get freed up as well. Now before I finish, I'll just show you what I'm doing with the southern end. As I said, these red areas are where I'm demolishing the segments and the white areas are new three lane segments connecting to the five lane segment as a whole. So this would be three lanes, three lanes, three lanes, three lanes would be here connecting with the rest of the three lanes and that would connect to the rest of Interstate 295. This is Bay Terrace, Queens County. It's one of the higher end suburbs of Queens County, New York. It's around 10, 12 miles east of New York City. And there are a lot of commuters here that go not just to New York City, but to Eastern Long Island and to Bronx County. That's it. Hope you like this webio. Hope you like how I like bridges. I've actually liked bridges a lot. So it was interesting to do a webio only on a bridge rather than incorporate bridges into bigger high-speed rail videos. This bridge is so important. I made its own webio.
I think it's going to help the economy as a whole. Now, like I always say, this is only a suggestion. I'd like you to comment on what is good and bad about this proposal and encourage the government and other transportation agencies to look at such a solution and see if something can be worked out to solve the traffic problems between Bronx County, Queens County, Long Island, New York City, and beyond. Thank you and goodbye.